How was your day, my beautiful peoples? Uh, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. Today I'm drawing a picture based on the gender fluid pride flag. I know you could probably tell from my voice uh, sort of what I was born as, but maybe you can't. Uh, I was born as a girl, but I am gender fluid. As I'm recording this, I happen to be a girl this day, but doesn't matter. For those of you who don't know what gender fluidity is, I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to misrepresent anyone. This is mostly based on my own experiences. And what being gender fluid means is sometimes you're more masculine, sometimes you're more feminine. Occasionally, at least for me, sometimes I'm neither, I'm in the middle, I'm agender, whatever you want to say for it. I wanted to do this because I know that gender fluidity isn't as popular or as mainstream as other things and because I watched Lavender Town's videos on her pride flags and uh, I consider leaving a comment but like she said in the second video she was basically doing the most popular comments so chances are I would never be heard and it's fine I understand she doesn't have time to do all the flags and like I said it's not that popular it's not that well known there are a lot of people I meet who don't know what it is or have even heard of it until they meet me. I know one girl in particular asked a bunch of questions about it uh, when I came out to her. I didn't come out to her specifically, but you know, since like the second week of this school year, I've just sort of been open about it. Uh, well, I thought it was kind of confusing and there's one girl who also thinks it's confusing but I think it's hard for people to know when I'm which normally normally when I wear a button up it means I'm masculine that day but sometimes I wear it when I'm feminine and I'm not gonna wear one of my five button ups every single time I am masculine either it's just a lot of effort, especially since most of them don't fit properly. So, I came up with this system. It's going to change soon. I'm planning on buying contacts so that I don't have to ruin my face or anything. I'm going to buy colored contacts. And so, what I do right now is, at the start of the day, when I remember to and uh, feel like it, I try to do it most days. I take a purple or a blue pen or I haven't done this yet just because I've only had one single day where I've been neither. A purple, a blue, or a black pen and I just draw a heart on my cheek and then it doesn't really bother people who don't like that stuff unless they know and then my friends don't mislabel me doesn't bother me too much when people mislabel me since uh, my body kind of makes it obvious what I was born as so I know it's hard and I understand that it's hard and like I said it's kind of confusing because I'm not the same thing every day at least that's how it is for people who don't change their gender at all or trans people, or even agender people, you know. Gender fluidity falls under the non-binary umbrella category. I've always thought of them as separate things, but you know, it technically falls under it. Non-binary just means not adhering to the two standards. That's what gender fluidity is, you're going from one to the other, 
to a third option sometimes. Probably there are people who have a fourth option because it just covers the entire thing. For me at least, like I said, it's mostly masculine or feminine and sometimes neither. And I'm not very fond of this speed paint. I'm gonna say it right now. I just don't like it. And you'll notice that I included the sketch this time around, which is something I don't normally do. And that's just because this one is a lot more idea focused than the other speed paints I've done so far. The other speed paints have mostly been sort of a vehicle to bring my talking to you. And this time it's what my talking is about, I guess. So for this one, I know that Lavender Town didn't do symbolic things with hers. I did something sort of symbolic with mine, as you can probably see by this point. It's an angel with chains. I don't know if you can see the chains part yet. And the chains are broken, and I guess sort of the idea was that when you're gender fluid you aren't chained to just one thing. You can go fly up in the sky and come back down to the ground the next day. That's sort of what this is supposed to mean. And obviously it's not, it's not a perfect metaphor, nor is it a perfect drawing. It sucks. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be bashing on my own art, but it kind of sucks. And that's just what came to mind first, especially with the colors. The colors actually sort of changed what they were going to be. The original idea had the blue being the ground and then the black being more ground, I think. And then I decided that that was a lot of ground. <laughs> and so I had the blue be waves instead. And then the uh, black, that's a black sand beach. And then the two rocks are what the chains were attached to. Well, that's not very clear. For the white, I put like a white sun sort of with a glare behind the angel. And that's where all the light is coming from. I probably should have done more shading on the wings. I didn't really do much shading on the wings at all. That's pretty much all. The purple mountains and more purple mountains and white star sun thing and pink sky at the back. Angel at the front with the broken chains and the wings and I think maybe I could have done better, but I probably wouldn't have gotten this speed paint out in time, because I probably would have had to start over today as I'm recording this, and then I would have to wait until that piece was finished. Not record this until tomorrow, probably, which means I won't be able to have the video edited by probably late tomorrow night or even Sunday morning. It's Friday right now. And then, and then if, if it's not edited until Sunday morning or too late Saturday night, then, then I can't get it exported in time. Because it takes like four hours to export. And then I gotta leave early Sunday morning for a time. And I won't be back until after I like to have my videos published. I try to get them done at least a day early so that I can schedule their, when they're supposed to be published instead of trying to publish it at the right time and have the time to do it. Because I don't really have the time to keep track of that. And then plus... It'll be consistent when they're published. I think last week 
it was published at 9 a.m. and that's what I will do this week so Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time thank you for watching and listening to me talk even though I'm starting to lose my voice a little and keep on arting my beautiful peoples